Hi, my name is Bob Sabswitz, and I'm a yoga instructor uh, through the uh, City of Santa Clara's Parks and Recreation Department, and I teach a couple of yoga classes there uh, during the week time. And uh, I'd like to spend the next 15 minutes doing a review of a series of uh, poses called the Sun Salutation or Surya Namaskara. It's a very common uh, sequence of poses done in many styles of yoga. So the Sun Salutation is a, it's a wonderful uh, exercise for everyone to do for everyday exercise. Uh, the, the sun salutation is found in many styles of yoga, and it's a very flexible series of poses. Uh, there are a group of standing poses that are strung, sequenced together in harmony with your breath, so it can give you a, a, a good workout. So I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes going over the sun salutation in its basic form, what I believe is its basic form, and then we'll also, uh, after we're done with that, we'll go through the sun salutation and give some modifications that make the sun salutation more accessible. First, we'll do it from a more relaxed, gentle standpoint for people that may have some uh, injuries or some sensitivities that we, they want to be mindful of, or maybe they're not quite as flexible. And then if we have some time, we will go through it again, and I'll give some other options that will make the sun salutation a little more aggressive, more aerobic in its form for those that want a more active workout and are, have already been doing some kind of a yoga or some active exercise program and don't uh, have uh, as many sensitivities, say, for their lower back or their knees or their hips. As you see me sitting here, speaking of hips, you'll see I'm sitting on the floor, but I'm also sitting on what we commonly use as an Indian blanket. By sitting, and sitting is very good for your posture, by sitting on a blanket, if your hips aren't open, Using the blanket helps to release the knees and open the hips, so I recommend whenever you sit, rather than sitting on a couch, sit on the floor and sit on an Indian blanket. It helps to release your hips, open your knees. Anyway, let's go over a couple other notes. The, first of all, the sun salutation, I'm going to be giving the poses and using their English name rather than their Sanskrit name. I think it will, be, it will make the uh, uh, people will be able to identify with the, with the poses a little bit better. Also, in any kind of a exercise routine, you want to do a little warm-up. So we'll probably do a little warm-up first. And then the other thing to note is uh, the sun salutation, as we go through the poses, your breath is done in synchronization with the poses. And in general in yoga, when you're doing flow yoga, where you're going through a sequence of poses and you time it with your breath, in general, any pose that's an opening pose, you would do an inhale, and any pose that's a closing pose, you would exhale. So in general, that's where our bl our, uh, the, the flow of our breath is going to be. When we do opening poses, we'll inhale. And, uh, and in closing poses, where we're contracting, we will do exhales. Also, at the end of the pose, I think we'll, uh, we'll finish up with a, s uh, a small relaxation or a shavasana in a corpse pose. That's always a good thing to do at the end of your practice. Okay, so let's get started. So the basic sun salutation, let's stand at the front of our mats here. I've also got a couple of props and blocks that we'll probably use when we do the gentle yoga. So the sun salutation is a series of 12 standing poses. So we'll go through the pose. I'll go slowly and we'll go through them individually. So standing, so this is a standing pose or Tadasana. So our hands are together in prayer pose or namaste pose. Some of the, some of the poses I'll give you the, the Sanskrit, Sanskrit uh, t translation, others I won't. So this is the standing pose, prayer pose. Next, next one is going to be an upward salute. So inhale, and again, we're now aligning our breath. So inhale, upward salute. And if you want, you can arch your back a little bit. Just depends on if you have any tightness in your tailbone or your spine. You want to be mindful of your shoulders. A nice big inhale. Now on the exhale, we're going to swan dive forward, coming forward into a forward fold where the fingertips are going to touch the ground. Inhale, looking up. Now on the exhale, we're going to step back with the right foot. We're going to step back with the left foot. We're going to lower down knees. So we're coming down into knees, chest, and chin. And we're going to inhale into cobra pose. So in cobra pose, the hands are next to the sides of the rib cage. You're balancing on your on your pubic bone, on your hips. Your feet are flat on the ground. You're going to keep your elbows bent. Inhale and push yourself up, but you keep your tailbone, your pubic bone flat on the ground. So don't scrunch your shoulders down here, so roll your shoulder blades back. So nice big inhale. Now on the exhale, we're going to tuck the toes under. 
and we're gonna slowly push back, push back, push back, push back into what we call downward facing dog. Push the heels down, push the hips back. So this is our downward facing dog. We can take a breath here, a nice big inhale, and exhale. And now on the next inhale, I'm gonna step forward with my right foot. I think I step backward with my right foot, so we'll step forward with the right foot. Nice big inhale, and then step forward with the left foot, coming back in the forward fold. Exhale, release down. Bend your knees slightly. Inhale, sweep your hands, sweeping the hands back up into upward salute. And then exhale into namaste. So that's one sun salutation in a basic, in its basic form. Generally, you'd repeat the sun salutation using the other side. So let's do that. That way we keep our body balanced so we don't have, uh, we haven't stretched one side of our hip and not the other. So let's do the sun salutation again. And we'll do it on the other side, stepping back with the left foot and forward with the left foot. Nice big inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, swan knife forward. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, step back with the left foot. Step back with the right foot. Let's lower down knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, coming up into cobra pose. And in cobra pose, I'm pushing my hands into the ground to help push my upper torso up. Nice big inhale, let's exhale, release down, tuck the toes under, pushing back, push the hips back, roll back, pushing back into downward facing dog. And let's inhale now, let's inhale, step forward with the left foot. Again, nice big inhale, and then step forward with the right foot, exhale, release down, bend the knees, firm up the thighs, and exhale, namaste. So now we've done sun salutation on both sides. And that's a basic sun salutation. So now let's, uh, let's do the sun salutation again. This time let's make some modifications to make the sequence of poses more accessible to someone who may have uh, uh, knee injuries or uh, uh, lower back injuries, or someone maybe that just is, hasn't done any exercise in a while and isn't quite as flexible. So for that we're going to use some blocks so in a lot of yoga classes, you'll use props, and they make the poses more accessible uh, for people that aren't quite as flexible or maybe have some injuries. So now we're going to do the sun salutation, and we'll call it more in a more of a gentle uh, version of the of uh, the series. So this will be more accessible for people that maybe can't uh, have problems with their knees or their hamstrings are a little tight. Okay, so standing into dasana. Hands and namaste. Basic flow is the same. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. And now we're going to put our hands on the blocks. A little easier. We can release the knees if we want to. Nice big inhale. Now let's exhale. Take the hands off. Let's step back. Drop the knee to the ground. Step back with the left foot. Drop the left knee to the ground. And now we're into tabletop. Get our blocks out of the way. So now we're in tabletop. Nice big inhale. Let's lower down. Knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, release up. And now, and coming up into Cobra now, now we're not going to push ourselves up. We're going to keep our hands on the side. So now the only thing that's pushing us up is our upper torso. A little less strain on the lower back. So our hands aren't even on the ground. So nice big inhale. Now let's push the, put the hands back down to push back into down dog. What we're going to do is we're going to push back, spread the knees wide, and push back through what's called child's pose. Very easy pose. No strain on the lower back. Now tuck the toes under and push back into down dog. Very good. Take a little breath here. Nice big inhale and an exhale. Now on the next inhale, let's step the right foot forward. And maybe you want to take one, maybe two steps to get up here, okay? Since it's a little more gentle in the approach. Nice big inhale. And then same thing with the right foot, with the left foot. One or two steps come forward. Again, using our blocks. Hands on the blocks. Bend those knees. Inhale, sweep your hands up. And exhale, namaste. So there's a sun salutation in more of a gentle flow. Okay, let's repeat this now. And I'm only going to do it on one side since I think we're running out of time. So now, because I, I like to present a sun salutation for a more active pose for those of you uh, that want to use a sun salutation for a, a more rigorous workout. So now we will, uh, again, modify the pose. And it'll be a little more active, a little more stretching. And we will add a new pose called the up dog.
So inhale, sweep your hands up. Now you can arch your back a little bit. Exhale, swan dive forward. And again, wrap those hands around those ankles for a little extra stretch. Fingertips down, inhale, looking up. Exhale, step back with the right foot. Step back with the left foot. Now we're in plank pose or four limb staff pose. And coming down, instead of knees, chest, and chin, we're going to lower by bending the elbows, coming into staff pose. Nice big inhale. Exhale, release down. Inhale, coming into up dog. Now in up dog, the hips are off the ground. Again, you can only do this, should only be doing this if your lower back is safe. Okay? Nice big inhale. Again, keep those shoulders rolled back. Inhale. On the exhale, you can bend your knees, tuck your toes, push back into down dog. Very good. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Step the left foot forward, forward fold. Release the toes. Inhale, step your hands up. A little arch in your back, and then exhale. Namaste. So let's do that again on the other side, and we'll add a little extra uh, uh, pose in the middle to the basic sun salutation. Inhale, step your hands up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, step back. Step back with the left foot. Lower down, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale into up dog. Release those toes. Nice big inhale. Tuck the toes under. Roll back into down dog. And now let's come forward back into high plank. And we're going to lower down. We're going to do some push-ups. So believe it or not, in yoga, we actually do push-ups. Nice big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, turn to the side. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, turn to the other side. Open that chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, turn to the side. And one last time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now let's push back into down dog. Inhale, stepping forward with the left foot. Step forward with your right foot. Exhale, release the toes. Release the neck. Bend the knees, firm up the thighs. Inhale, and sweep your hands down. Namaste. Very good. We're done now. Let's get down on the ground and do our corpse pose for a little resting. So nice big inhale. Exhale, swan dive forward. Step back with the left foot, right foot. Step back with the left foot. Knees down on the ground. Drop your butt to the side and swing around. Let's roll on down. Remember to breathe. Very good. Nice big inhale, and exhale, relax. <clears throat> Just rest, soften all the muscles in your body, and release. And when you feel quiet and calm, you can now roll over to your right side. Push yourself up. And namaste.